let's take a minute and think about how big these metric measurements actually are. We want to have a little bit of an intuition into, you know, about how big each measurement is so that we know whether or not our answers are making any sort of sense. When we're talking about length, the three metric units that are closest to our everyday experience are the centimeter, the meter, and the kilometer. How big is a centimeter? A centimeter is about the width of your thumb. Of course, your thumbs may vary. It's also about the width of a dime, the coin. How about a meter? How long is a meter? Well, probably the easiest reference for meters is people's height. Most adults are between 1.5 and 1.9 meters tall. So as you look around you, a meter is between two-thirds and a half of most people's heights. What about a kilometer? Like your frame of reference for a mile, your frame of reference for a kilometer should be about how long it takes you to travel one. A typical person's walking pace is between 5 and 6 kilometers per hour. Highway driving speeds are from about 90 to 110 kilometers per hour. So there's a frame of reference for length. What about volume? Well, we're lucky as far as volume goes. And that is because we very often get drinks packaged in metric package sizes. The most common like group serving size for bottles of soda is a two liter bottle. So a liter is half of that. How much is a milliliter? A milliliter is actually quite small. How small is it? In fact, I can say exactly how small it is. It's exactly one cubic centimeter. So about how big is that? If you've ever seen a sugar cube, a sugar cube is about one cubic centimeter. A sugar cube is about one milliliter. Okay, and finally, weight. I'm going to describe weights in terms of volumes of water. A kilogram is the weight of one liter of water. That means that if you have a two liter bottle of soda, it weighs about two kilograms. A gram is the weight of one milliliter of water. It's also about the weight of a dime. So what do we measure with these metric units? And these pairings of unit and prefix are the most common ones used just in every day. I need to describe the measurement of a thing in my environment. We'll use centimeters, meters, and kilometers, liters and milliliters, kilograms and grams, just on a day-to-day -day basis. When we're measuring small things, we'll typically use centimeters, grams, and milliliters. What do I mean by small things? I mean like things you hold in your hand. If we're measuring bigger things, like people or furniture or rooms, then we'll use meters, kilograms, and liters. How do these compare to the corresponding U.S. measurements? 
A meter is a bit longer than a yard. A centimeter is a bit less than half an inch. And a kilometer is a bit less than two-thirds of a mile. A kilogram is about two pounds, and there are about 30 grams to an ounce. A liter is a little bit larger than a quart, and there are about five milliliters to a teaspoon. Now these are not anything like exact numbers. These are just to give you an intuition into how these units of measure relate to the units that you're used to using for measurement.